and then he even paid himself for child care, all that stuff. Why don't he keep his own kids? Don't have nobody to keep your kids. You keep your kids. Then you got somebody else keeping. I keep my own, even though he lied about me. But it's okay. It's okay because he's trying to get your vote. Don't let him trick you try to get your vote. Hi, this is comedian Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. Now, if you watch my act, some time ago, I talked about how difficult it is to do comedy because a comedian's job is to be funnier than reality. And more and more, that is impossible. Case in point, Herschel Walker talking about raising someone's kids. Raising his own kids. Herschel, you don't even know how many kids you have. We don't know how many kids you have. Herschel, the one kid that you did raise that you do claim, he doesn't like you at all. So maybe he'd have been better off without you raising him. Really, Herschel? You're going to bring up kids? What are you think? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not thinking. That's where I was wrong in thinking. Okay, so Warnock spent $61,000 on child care during the campaign, which is legal, and he reported it. Unlike some Republicans who tend to spend campaign money on lawyers, not sure if that's legal, and they certainly don't report it. Then again, you have others who take money donated to build a wall and instead buy a boat. Why? Hmm, maybe because the boat was already built. I don't know. <laughs> but Herschel, for you to be talking about taking care of kids, what does that mean, Herschel? Could it be the abortions you paid for? Was that taking care of kids? Now, I know that sounds harsh and that sounds terrible, but I don't mean it in any way to disparage abortion, which I think is a woman's choice and should be 100% legal, to disparage the women who had abortions uh, that Herschel Walker paid for, because again, it's their choice. It is entirely legal, at least it was when they did it. But Herschel, I am calling out your hypocrisy. When you talk about kids and family values and you have kids that you don't take care of, that you won't admit to, and you've paid for abortions and you claim to be anti-abortion, Herschel, quite simply, you're a liar and a fool because you're really not good at it. But here's the thing. If you're going to lie about something, don't bring it up. Don't bring up the topic you're lying about. Lion Ted Cruz is right behind you. Get some coaching. I can promise you, Iran, Russia, and they're not talking about trying to charge a tank out in the desert. They're talking about war. And let me tell you this here. If we was ready for the green agenda, I'll raise my hand right now, but we're not ready right now. So don't let them fool you like this is a new agenda. This is not a new agenda. We're not prepared. We're not ready right now. So here we have Herschel Walker, absolute living proof that Republicans will put party over country no matter what, even if Herschel wins, and he could win because this is Georgia, and if you notice, when he was standing up there talking nonsense, nobody laughed out loud, so he could win, but even if he does, the Republicans won't have a majority. They'll still won't be able to stop the Democrats in the Senate, but they don't care. They just want to win. They just want to be there so they can yell and say no. It is ridiculous. Regarding Herschel and the Green Agenda, once again, Herschel why are you talking about something you know nothing about? It is amazing that the Republicans don't have a coach. Where are the ones who used to coach Donald Trump? They had it all. They had flashcards. They had crayons. They had colored markers to remake maps. Why aren't they coaching Herschel? Give him a green crayon and explain to him the green agenda. Herschel doesn't know what's going on. What we need to do is keep having those gas guzzling cars because we got the good emission on of those cars. We're doing the best thing that we can, but we need help. We need help. And those other people not helping us, China not helping us, India not helping us, but yet we're going to do it all because they're spending your money. Herschel, we're not talking about electric tanks in the desert. We're talking about green energy. We're talking about things like solar panels, which we have, Herschel, and they do work. We're talking about windmills, which, uh, Herschel, they don't cause cancer. And we're talking about electric and hybrid cars. Herschel, Elon Musk is financing your party, probably financing your election, definitely turning Twitter toward you and people like you. Have you ever thought to ask him what he built? Like, like what that whole company was before he started buying other companies and ruining them? Hint, electric cars. Yeah, that's what I call a hint. In Herschel Walker speak, the direct answer is a hint. Herschel, he builds electric cars. We have an infrastructure. We have what's called superchargers. Not 100%, not 100% ready, but Herschel, the technology is out there <laughs> and it does work. Gas guzzlers have emissions controls. Yeah, Herschel, and who do you think led the way on that? I got bad news for you, Herschel. 
California. Say it with me, Herschel. California. That's right. California leads the country in emissions regulations and emissions equipment on cars. As a matter of fact, California was so far ahead on emissions, whereas there was a time they built 49 state cars and cars for California. They now build all cars to the California emissions standard. I know that probably hurts for you to say, Herschel, but uh, California is ahead of you in emissions and the technology does exist. Elon Musk builds electric cars and the technology exists. Toyota, who moved from California to Texas, builds Prius hybrids. The technology exists. Are you, is any of this getting through to you, Herschel? This is all part of the green agenda. This is what we call green energy. And finally, Herschel, you talk about war with China. You talk about war with Russia. Well, guess what? Russia and China don't have to go to war with us to get their way. Why? Because they've discovered they simply use bots on Twitter and get the cult to vote for candidates like you and Donald Trump. Putin never had to go to war to get Donald Trump to do what he said. He merely picked up the phone and told him to do what he said, just like you, who will be a puppet of Mitch McConnell and whoever else in the Republican Party tells you what to do. Yes, their number one weapon against us, Herschel? Stupidity. And we have plenty of it. Someone said you were observably stupid. That's right, Dave Chappelle said it. And it only took two days for you to prove him right. Herschel, please, stop talking. Republican Party, please, do better. Listen, you already lost the Senate. Let this one go. And next time, try a real candidate. Someone who, oh, I don't know, knows where Russia and China are. Mm, windmill cancer? Yeah, not going to happen, Herschel. But good luck fighting that green agenda.